Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bluegrass Waterfowl Farm. Not much going on this week. Had uh, a lot of rain first part of the week. Didn't really have a chance to get anything done. And unfortunately had to work overtime yesterday. So that knocked yesterday in the head from getting to do anything. But everybody's still doing good. I need to get in here and weed eat bad. Canvas backs are really looking good. I need to get the camera out and get some good pics so I can update my website. Got one shell duck drake that I need to catch. We got the other three caught the other day. And I gotta get him caught so I can ship him out. And let me tell you, these ducks are smart. They know when you're after them. I guess when you're targeting one specific duck, he knows he knows you got the crosshairs on him, so he's doing everything he can. And let me tell you, those shell ducks might be big and tall, and you might just like, oh, they gonna fly away. No, 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 no. Them ducks will dive. He is a diver, let me tell you. We even had the, we had the big net out. He'd dive under the water and I'd try to head him off. He dodges every time. So I didn't want to wire him out. So we just quit, let him rest a couple of days and we'll try to get him again. And, uh, I don't know if you can see, you can see my drain right there, or my overflow, right there by that post with them two silver tills at. My overflow is right there. The water level is like four or five inches below that. Before we got all this rain the other day, it was like a foot or more below that. So that tells you how much rain we got within a day and a half. Like I said, not a whole lot going on. Uh, of course, it's that time of the year. Nobody's really laying, unless you got a few of the species that lays this time of the year. <clears throat> Which I do have a pair of Hottentots coming soon, so. They can lay any time. I'll show you the... Uh, let's see, we'll walk around here. Like I said, we ain't got nothing done down here because of all the rain, so. We still got, uh, let's see, 
five in here and then I got one down there. So I got six, six white eyes and a trio of them is uh, sold. And then I got a pair and an extra male silver tail here and they're sold. And what's in here? We got three of the main geese. A pair of these are sold. And the other one's an extra male. He sold. He goes he goes with two of the younger females around there. We are hiding in the corner. Without Kate it. Hiding out in the corner. And an item, a pair of items. They're sold. And then I got two two male items down here. They're sold. Didn't have a good year on the items this year for some reason. I don't know if you can see. Like I said, I don't like to show this because I don't like my setup. We didn't get the pond dug this year. And we're having to use the kitty pools and I don't like that, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, pretty much everything down here is sold. Uh, I got, uh, I think I got five or six Northern pintail females. If anybody needs a Northern Pintail female. Uh, I'll do a deal on them. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. What else? What else? What else? Mm, might. I might have a pair of cinnamons, but I'm not going to take an order or list them right now because I just sold two pair and I already had a pair sold. And I think there's a pair left, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sell them right now until I get these others shipped out just in case something was to happen. I hope it don't, but I don't like to push my luck, so that's why I try not to make a deal on everything until I get some shipped out. <clears throat> Let's see here. This is, what y'all doing over in the corner? This is our last clutch of silver tails that hatched off and three main geese, two females and a male. The two females are Done sold. Uh, silver tails are almost big enough. They're a little bigger than I thought they was. They are feathered out looking real good. Let's see. Let me thank a minute, guys, girls. Uh, silver tails. So you got a pair of them over yonder sold and that leaves me an extra male and a female from in here goes with him then I sold a female then I sold a male I think I'll have to get this straightened out I gotta check my paper my mind's Let's see silver tail I had four females 
and two males. So I still have, if my figures is correct, I'll have to go inside and check everything. If my figures is correct, I got two females and a male left. And we decided to uh, sell them separate if anybody wanted them because they was siblings and we wasn't gonna have no more to go with them. Uh, here's the last bunch of main geese that hatched off. We just took these out of the brooder earlier and moved them out here in the lot. Got nine of them. They're growing, doing good. I do have a bakel teal female in here with them. Uh, you know, stuff happens when you ship birds. You always hope for the best. And sometimes it don't work out good. I got two bakel females the other day. Both of them come in and both of them look good. We turned them in a pen around there with food and water. And they found the water and was drinking and getting cleaned off and everything. And one of them got uh, wet, I guess. She didn't have enough oil on her feathers, maybe, or something. I don't know. She didn't uh, dry off like she's supposed to. So I checked on her later and found her like that. So I caught her and put her in a brooder with some heat so she would dry off. And she did dry off. She did dry off. But unfortunately, the next morning, she didn't make it. And I'm assuming it was, she just stressed. The stress was too much for her. Sometimes that happens. So, I might, if anybody's got an extra bakel female, you could holler at me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be needing one of them because I got a couple of males supposed to be coming, so. That's why I got her in there. I didn't turn her out into the aviary yet. I was waiting until I get the males. I was gonna keep them up for a couple of weeks. Try to get them pair bonded to each other, so. But anyway, uh, like I say, what, I, what did I say? <laughs> I got, I should have, I believe I got a trio of white eyes left. Uh, maybe a pair of cinnamon. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I got like five northern pintail females. I got about three silver tails. And let's see, somebody just messaged me the day before yesterday, so he wanted two pair of mangy so I should have four or five mangies left but I haven't sexed them yet I should have sexed them a minute ago but I was in a hurry so we'll try to get them sexed here in the next few days that way I know more about what's what anyway that's all that's going on this week uh Weather is starting to cool up. Today's a little warm. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be about like today. Tuesday, supposed to get down in the mid 70s. And then toward the weekend, warm back up again before it actually starts cooling down. So hopefully, we got several ducks shipped out already. So hopefully next week, we get several more shipped out. I know some of y'all lives in the warmer climates than we do, and y'all are still hot. So hopefully we'll get our own get our own uh, 
the cool side here in a few more weeks. But anyway, it's all for this week. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all. Uh, any questions, anything, let me know. And y'all have a great rest of the day. And stay safe. See y'all.